If you guys need ultimate team coins, then go and check out u7buy.com. Their link is down in the description. Use code CAPGUM to get yourself a discount and new customers will get an introductory offer of 8% off. Link in the description. You're right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome back to another episode of Team Takedown. What I've got for you today is something a little bit different because there is a new SBC that EA have released. It is Gong... What's his name? Pedro Goncalves. This guy. This guy, yes. This one right here. But there's actually two versions of him. There's a right wing version and there's also a centre mid version. So today, me and my opponent have taken different versions of the card so that you guys, if you've not done it yet, can decide which one you want to do. Um, and this is going to be pretty sick, I'm not going to lie. Now one thing I do want to tell you about is the database. It's done. It is so, so cool. So full, uh, like, database full of all the games of Team Takedown from FIFA 21, none of the other years. Both channels, so mine and my opponent's channels, have now been put onto the database. Uh, it might be like one day behind, so like for example, the episode with Chuff yesterday, which if you missed, go back and watch because there was a huge discard, it was mental, has not been put on there yet, or maybe it has, I don't know, but it, it might be like a day behind because it, you know, we have to manually update it, but let me show you some stuff. So, here we go, total number of games, 142, that's crazy, third question gets spun all the time, 18 times this year, and the most frequent guest is actually It's James and Cubs, they've both been on 14 times, but here we go, here's the stuff about me, played 142 games, won 96 of them with a 68% win record, and you guys say I cherry pick my opponents to always win. <laughs> You're wrong. Um, we've also got average correct guesses, uh, just under two. So if I can get this to two, that'll be pretty cool. I'm going to be working hard on making sure these numbers go up. One, we one number we're going to try and keep down though is this one, the discard value, because currently we're 11.4 million coins, biggest discard of the year so far. Foot freeze. Dembele and uh, yeah I score on average 3.58 goals that's pretty cool um, and yeah I will leave a link to this down in the description of the video so you can go check it out it was all put together by Michael Bilson he did it completely free of charge he just reached out for me he didn't ask for anything in return I just thought it was right because he actually runs like a coding website um, or coding company so if you need for any reason like data to be crunched into some sort of like format that you can work with he might be the person to talk to. So if you want to go and check out his link, it's also down down there with the, uh, the the full database. So yeah, if you want to go check out all the results and stuff, it was a lot of fun on last night on Twitter. Uh, me and my opponents, like everyone just at each other saying how trash they were at this. Because uh, now they actually see how trash exactly they are. Um, at these series, or at least some of them. Um, and yeah, it was just a lot of banter. So yeah, like people were enjoying uh, getting on and seeing how they've done in Team Takedown so far this year. Let me know any opponents you want to see back. Let me know any new opponents you want to see. And don't just be like, oh, I want to see KSI, because let's face it, he's, he's not going to come on, guys. He's not, it's just simple, he's not coming on. So think of someone a bit more realistic. Someone a bit more realistic. I don't know, maybe there's an up and coming uh, FIFA TikToker or YouTuber or streamer or something you want to see on there. That's a lot more likely than being like, I want to see, I want to see, you know, one of the side men, or I want to see KSI, or I want to see Harry every video. Like, I get it. I get it. You want you want to see these people, but like they're just I'm, they they are very busy people, and they are kind of inaccessible for me. Like I don't they don't all follow me back, so you, it's a sad time for me. But anyway, let me know some ideas down in the comments section, guys. And uh, yeah, let's dive into the app. Now you guys have said, Tom, you're doing too well at this series. Go and get a real opponent. So that's what I've done. I've got Itani. Hey, listen, you're not undefeated against me so don't even go there mate hey listen that was that was me bigging you up mate i'm saying you're a great player i mean i'm no oakley oakley's beating me too you know who's the real who's really bad this year who andy he's not beating you yet he has beaten me okay but he's really bad who's the most frequent player god now you're asking me uh curbs and it's james all right curbs is good at this game though he is, yeah, but he's lost a lot. Right. Like, in I think in the last two or three episodes we've recorded together, he's lost about two and a half million coins. But to be honest, Curbs has recently stopped playing as well, so. <laughs> so what you're doing is you're actually chopping me down and just making all my achievements worthless. Chat, listen, I say chat. This is a video for God's sake. Listen, the only reason Tom wins is because he's the only YouTuber that actually still plays the game. That's it. 
That's not that's not my that's not my problem, mate. That's not my problem that no one else actually takes their job seriously. I'm on this game about eight or nine hours a day, either making packs, playing games, doing foot champs, doing whatever it is I need to do to be good at my job. What are you doing? You're buying crypto, CSGO skins, and playing CSGO until six in the morning. If I and opening Pokemon cards, mate. Good investment, by the way. Yeah, I, I'm not saying they're not a good investment. I'm just saying that you need to get, you need to, you need to shape up, mate. Had heard Andy's been talking smack about you again, always. You do realize, yeah, like his whole series is based around me because when I'm not in the video, he talks about me. When I am in the video, he talks about me. Like he talks about all of us, every video. <laughs> he talks about, he mentions his his jokes are dead, mate. He talks about how much of a sweaty tryhard I, I am. He talks about how you're a cheat. He talks about how many rules Jack has has in his series. Those are literally his only jokes. And then when he runs out of jokes, he goes onto a Christmas cracker website and gets a joke. That's that's the extent of Andy's jokes. When man. he runs out of the you know jokes, he goes onto the squad builder stat thing and then talks about how good he is or how many discards he's done. He never talks about. Hey, listen, mate. He's not the only one because I've also got a stats thing now. Let's look talk at, about some look stats. At these right, me and Atari. <laughs> me and Tari, me and Atari this year have played six games. And uh, I'm currently 5-1, and one flexing. Thanks for upping my average, mate. My win ratio is up because of you. Um, however, Atani's currently lost 5 and discarded about 800k, and I've lost 1 and discarded about 400k. So uh, when I do lose to Atani, it's a pretty painful one. I'm not going to lie. So fingers crossed that's not going to happen today. Let's move swiftly in to the player of the day. Now, 99.999% of people who have watched or are watching this video and are considering doing this SBC card will have taken the right wing or going to be taking the right wing. I say, why do you need another attacker? This guy looks like an actually really good midfielder, cam sort of player. Um, so I've taken the centre mid. However, Itani is one of the 99.99%, aren't you, mate? Yep. He's got the right winger. Did we make a mistake when picking the players? No. What we've done is we've purposely taken different ones so that we can see which one you guys should do if you haven't already. Mate, I'm going to try and convince that 99.99% they should take the centre mid and Itani's going to try and get the full 100% to take the right wing. Or you just no, don't do him. Why wouldn't you do him? Why the hell would you? Is the like, actual question. Because Liga Nos is a cool league. It's interesting for hybrids. And there's no good players in it except him. And the other thing is, he already has an informed right wing card, um, which means I can get away with putting it into team takedowns already. Whereas he doesn't have a good centre mid card. So, you know, I need that variety up in my life. Yeah, but you're not, well, everyone's not you. They don't need to make a series out of this player. So you don't need to do him, chat. There you go. All right, fair enough. Right, well. <laughs> Itani's not actually going to convince that 0.1% to do the SPC and get the right wing. He's actually going to just try and convince 50% of you to stop or not do the SPC. Um, but anyway, he looks half decent. Obviously, the stats are different between the two cards. He does have 4-star, four 4-star, four high medium work rates. I mean, it just seems like a bit of a fun card, really. And we're kind of running out of future stars cards. Um, Itani came on. It's funny because Itani always likes to come on. I think it's like middle of the week after the promo's released and there's literally nothing left. In terms of players and he goes i go oh you can have anyone who's left that's <laughs> like you can do whoever you want that's left from the promo and he's I'm like, he's always like but you've done everyone this week's actually different because we've actually left you one natani yeah, you you're have. gonna be doing big bergvine right i will not dalot you don't want to do dalot no okay fair enough natani's gonna do bergvine who i actually managed to pack yesterday anyway um that's a should we get into the I episode think that's one of the best ones to pack as well it is. In terms of value, I think he's top three, isn't he? I think it just goes Cam Camavinga, Reina, and him. Yep. Pretty much. I'm surprised. You know what? We haven't done sub... sub that Hungarian fella. Yeah. We haven't done him either. And he's actually got a price tag of close to 700k. I was absolutely shocked to see that. But very excited to try him out at some point. Maybe if I'm lacking content, you'll see that later this week. Let's give the old wheel a spin, see what our special rule for today will be, Mr. Atani. What are you hoping for? Not the gold this squad. We've got out of position, mate. What does that mean? So one of the players that you get from one of the picks we're about to open, you have to take it and be like, oh, I want to play him at 
like maybe it's a, a left winger, you want to play him at right back or you want to play him at centre okay. mid or cam or striker. You have to basically take that player and put him somewhere else in your squad right. and uh, and get the chemistry on as him as if he's like a player from that okay, so position. Okay, so the second player. The second okay. player. So one of the players from the packs you're about to open. Okay. So uh, let's dive into it. You just need to find someone who's not from Liga Nos, not from uh, Portugal and not a goalkeeper, unless you really want to play a goalkeeper out on the field. If I get Insignia, can I play him goalkeeper? I mean, if you want to lose, yes, asking, you can. I'm just asking for, you know. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah, you're more than welcome to, mate. You can do whatever you want. I've just got Future Stars Isaac. Wow. Uh, the only problem is that I already have, e have him as a dupe untradeable. Well, that's a rip. <laughs> <laughs> I got Witzel. Witzel. You can play him at like a centre-back or something. I'm actually going to take Isaac. And I'm going to play him at right wing. Okay, I think maybe Witzel centre back is the best one for me. I'm gonna go with All that. Alright, have you got have you, have you got his flashback card? No. Of course, you don't have any SPCs. What I'm talking about? Exactly. All right, guys, we're gonna go pick our formations. We got our players. We'll be back in a second. All right, so we've got our players: um, Isaac, right wing, right mid, or right forward, Atani. And you've got uh, Witzel at centre back. Yep. Um, what do you want to do, mate? Do you want to ask me a question, or do you want to have a straight up guess at my formation? Um, I'll just guess. All right then. Make sure you choose the formation with wingers in it, or right mids or right forwards. Yeah. We've had that one before many times, including myself has done that. Are you using the four-three-three? I'm not. Oh, wow. Got away with okay. it. I've got the wow. fourth. I got the fourth variation of it, mate. Oh wow. Okay. Are you using the four three three? Which variation, or just the? Ooh, I don't know. If he's trying to trick me here. Eh? I'm gonna stick. Have you got the four three three flat? I do. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh dear, Atari. Uh, what would do particularly bad against the four three three four? Um, the thing is, I don't know, like, how you could give me a bad formation. Because, like, you need to give me one with a right mid. A right winger. Yeah. and Yeah, don't worry. There are ways, mate. Really? You can have, you can have the 3-4-3. Three, three. Let's see how this looks. <laughs> Doesn't look great, I won't lie. Oh, my God. Look at these links. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Oh, dear. Right. Well... Good start for me. Not such a good start for Atani. What we're going to do is... Gonna, I can't believe you tried to bait me. I can't believe you tried to bait me away from saying it. You're actually all right. No wonder Andy calls you a cheat. Um, How's that cheat? Right, guys. That's, that's five head, mate. Five head, right. Okay, get back to Twitch, you scumbag. Facebook's the place to be. Right, guys. We're going to go build our two teams. If you want to see these teams, keep on watching. If you don't want to see them, so that you can play along with guessing. Now's the time to look away and wait for me to say look back. So look away now. Right, guys, here are the two completed squads. You know what to do. Just simply take a note of them, remember them, screenshot them, whatever the hell it is that you do, just do you, because we are about to remove them. We're about to get into the guessing. And if you were looking away, please return your eyes to the screen because we are ready to get into the action. Um, don't forget about your safety, mate. Call it whenever you like. I'll never forget about and that. And never forget. Yep. Never forget. And other than that, I think that's it, mate. So take us away. Where would you like to start? Um, I'm going to start with your striker. It just makes sense to hit that straight away. Yep, shock. Yep. Um, I feel like this could be an icon. Okay, so nation-wise, all I could see that the only strikers viable are icons. Also, you wouldn't have your mm -hmm. Ebra there. <laughs> Why not? Because pop he... a pop a chocky Ebra, put uh, what's his face Chalanoglu at left wing, sorted. Couple strong links to this uh, this Portuguese fella, sorted, mate. Easy. Now there is a couple of Portuguese strikers though you could have used, but don't look at them. Mate. Don't look at them, mate. There's no point. Don't look okay. at them. Is your striker Portuguese? He's not. Liga Nos striker. Let me see. What do we have here? Okay, definitely not. Yeah, I'm pretty. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure it's an icon. Are you using Lawson? You got another question, mate. 
Is it an icon? Or do you want to... It is an icon, yeah. <laughs> Are you using Lawson? No, no, I'm not. No. Uh, it's, it's impossible to guess the icon, though. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Unless, unless you got the, unless you know the inner workings of my club, it's gonna make it very, very difficult. <laughs> uh, um, <clears throat> where should we go for you? I think we'll start off at your right midfield. Right midfield. Okay. Yeah. Is he Portuguese? Let me just double check the picture, mate. <laughs> I have to. Yes, he is. Right, okay. Is he from uh, the Prem? Yes. Ooh, I don't think there's... Oh, there's two. you I know what you've done. You've used this right mid version of Jao Cancelo, so you've got some cover. Have you got Jao Cancelo? I do. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> well, now he's bronze. So now he's not going to give you any cover because I'm going to make sure I give you someone who's really attacking. Um... Who have I got? Oh, okay. I was looking at. I was wondering who I've got at my left wing, who's going to obliterate that right-hand side of your team. Um, I guess we'll go for your striker. Okay. Is he an icon? Yes. Oh god, here we go. Right, base <laughs> mid icon is the time to use. I don't even know what you've packed, mate. Is he either? I just got to shout some nations. Is he Brazilian or? Brazilian or Dutch? No. It's neither of those. Uh, icon. Icon, icon, icon. I think I've just got... I don't think you have him, though. You, I don't think... Yet. I know you've opened a lot of base and mid-icon packs, but I don't... There's no point you even having Eusebio here because you've already got the chem on what's his chops. So let's, um, let's just choose a random one, eh? I think you're the kind of guy to use Puskas. Is that your guess? It is, yeah. No. Oh, mate. It's it was either hit. It was impossible. For me, it was either. Either I was even going to say Puskas, closer, or who was the last one? Eto. One of those three. I reckon you've got one of them in a pack. Okay. We'll go with your right centre mid. My right centre mid. Yep. Well, yeah. Right. Okay. Does he link to Pedro and Isaac? Um, what, both of them? Yeah. No. Okay. That would have been a lot easier if it was yes. Is your player Swedish? He's not. So he's going to have to be a lot legal. Good luck choosing, mate. There's loads of them. I do know that, but I had to take the risk of the player linking to two because that would make things so much easier. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there is loads to choose from. Any players? This is where I think he picks the right player anyway. <laughs> I reckon he's going to pick the right player regardless. Oh, wow. There is quite a lot. There is quite a yeah, lot, no. mate. Are you using David Silva? Ooh. I'm not, mate. No. <laughs> Would it upset you if I said I did have him in originally? <laughs> oh, my God. We changed him. Shouldn't have taken so long to build a team. When people take a long time to build their team and I finish mine, I make mine more difficult to guess. Uh, I'll go for your left mid. Left mid. All right. I'll call safety for that. Is it... Thorgan Hazard? No. Blatantly the Portuguese guy because he's better defensively, isn't he? Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, moving swiftly on. I'll go for your right centre mid. Does he... Uh, strong link to... Strong link or better to... Um, this guy, Jao, what's his name? Jao Cancelo. I'm literally tapping on my screen, like pointing at him, from tapping, tapping Jao Cancelo on the screen. I'm like, what's his name? That one. Yes. He's strong links or better, right? Okay. Does he play for Man City? No. I'm play for Man City. Oh. Okay. So now we're talking. It's either Bruno. I'm not even going to waste everyone's time because it's either Bruno or one of the rubbish Wolves players, isn't it? Like Moutinho or Neves. Have you got Bruno? No. What? You've actually, got, oh, you've actually <laughs> gone that bad. You've actually gone so bad. Better than having the bronze player, mate. That's true. <laughs> Tell that to Jao Cancelo, mate. He's already bronze. Exactly. No saving him. Imagine putting no Bruno there. I would, have been, I would have messed up. 
I'm gonna go for your right back. I know he has to be pretty much a law league player here. I'm just guessing, actually. Let me see what Swedish players there is as well. <laughs> it would absolute garbage. Let me go back to La Liga. Does your player play for any of the Madrid teams? So what, either Atletico or Real? Yeah. No. Is he Spanish? He is, yeah. Oh, man. Are you using Alex Marino? What? Pardon? Alex Marino? <sighs> yes. <laughs> Let's go! <sighs> What's it? What is it that you say? Get him the hell out of here! <laughs> and make it quick. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Left centre back. Actually, what am I talking about? Right centre back. I'm getting too excited. Right here. <laughs> he's he's yeah. got one player. <laughs> Let me have a look. Hang on a sec. There he goes. Now you've actually you're actually quite good at this game. You've managed to guess like you on average guess more than one one player per episode. So you need to guess another if you want to have a, an above average performance, mate. Okay, that's good then. Is he Spanish? No. <laughs> now you're in the mud. Oh. Um, got too excited, too excited, Tani. I did, I did. Okay, let me see what nation is pretty frequent here in this league. It's either Brazilian or French. I would have to go with. Should have asked that question. Would have helped a bit better. But I'm gonna go with. Is he French? He is French, yeah. Okay, but the problem is he could possibly be not La Liga, but who knows. Are you using Varan? I'm not, no. I wouldn't do that to you, man. That'd be horrific. No one wants that. All right, go on. We go for your left wing. Left wing, all right. Is he from the Bundesliga? He is. Nice. Oh, no, there's loads. Does he play for Bayern Munich? No. Oh, so, oh that's actually good because most of them do play at Bayern Munich. All I'm going to say is good luck. <laughs> I probably should say Thorgan Hazard again, but I don't really want to. There's no real point for you to get for saying him. I'm going to say using Bailey. No. Ah, oh, what? Okay, I'm going right. to go with your goalkeeper. My goalkeeper, all right. Good luck with that. Is he French? No. Damn, I was banking on that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Does he play in the Liga Nos? He doesn't. Wow. This is the uh, second to last round, mate. So if you guess this, you get the last round. But if you don't, yep. I'm going to get another one of your players and tell you to get them the hell out of here. Is he all black? Nah. <sighs> I'm going to go for central centre back. Central centre back. Or am I? Or am I? Okay. Can't tell, mate. From the Premier League. Wait, are you are you going for central centre back? Yeah, central right, centre back. No, got he isn't. You from La Liga? No. This is blatantly just Bundesliga. It's a tiny. Of course, he's not built a blooming hybrid. He's blatantly got Neuer in goal. <laughs> just a Bundesliga player here. Which Bundesliga player will he have in though? We got Klosterman. No. Um, both of us below average performances, mate. Yeah. My average guess is, is like 1.9, and now it's going to go down because of this, because I've only guessed one. To be fair, when it's me and you, we don't guess that much, don't we? One round, one last time we played. We barely guessed. Uh, well, I guessed no, like no, quite a bit we, from you. Oh, yeah, you guessed three of mine. Yeah. I only guessed one of yours. But on average, then, me and you don't guess that much from our episodes, I think. But then two episodes before that, we guessed six between us, mate. Really? <laughs> Yeah, on average, we guess. Let me get. Let me have a look. Right. One, three. People are gonna get so bored of me counting up yeah. stats. It's like two and a half players an episode. Okay, that's a bit. Two point six six. So we're actually below average in this one. All right. There have been a couple episodes where we've guessed none, but yeah. Okay, fair enough, mate. Yeah, one a piece. 
It's not too bad. Um, I do feel like I've got a slight advantage because you've got a rubbish formation. Yeah. Uh, I will run you through my team. I've gone with, yes, Moreno at right back. That's because I had my guy Fekir, his nominee card, at uh, right centre mid. Oh, wow. And I have Laporte at right centre back. This is, this is a sick far. team. That was far then. This is a sick team, mate. Because I've got middle Cruyff at striker. Okay. I've got Sergio Oliveira, the inform from Porto at left centre mid to give my uh, guy a strong link. Yep. I've got Podence, a little bit of Andy for you because I know he loves that rule breakers Podence. Yep. Um, and I have Freeze Adam Atriore behind him. Like literally the only good Portuguese centre back in the entire game, Ruben Diaz. And uh, then I've got your boy, the machine in goal, Nick Pope's inform card. <laughs> so you good want, luck. You want to hear mine? Yeah. I have Cancelo, which I don't anymore. No, you don't have. Get him the hell out of here and make it quick. You know what's funny? I had Klosterman, what? but on the right side. Oh, you <laughs> actually, you're an absolute joker. And I bet you just got his regular card as well. You're the kind of guy that just no, puts pops. You've got his road to the final in there. I have, how much is his road to the final? 500,000 coins. No way. I might have to change that then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't afford him anyway. <laughs> okay, have, well then you've got the regular cost. <laughs> I have Cl um, Halstenberg in central centre back. Oh, get in the bin. Get... as the goalkeeper. <laughs> no, for God's sake, man. Why did I think I used up all my questions thinking you built a hybrid? Of course you haven't built a hybrid. And then get some Fernandez. Right. Jao Moutinho. Get. Oh my god! Oh my god! It just gets worse Guerrero, and worse, right? Left yeah, of course you got Guerrero. Kostic, left wing. Jesus. Kostic is the inform, I think it was. Yeah, inform. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. All right. Well, we get to give each other a bronze, mate. Have you got any ideas of uh, who'd like me to have a right back? Can I give you a goalkeeper or no? No, it's got to be an actual right back. Okay. But it could be any right back in the game. I'm going to find you someone truly horrific. Same. You can have Gao Zhang, 23 defending. I'm checking who is the slowest. <laughs> Has to be done. Look what you've given me. What do you mean? I haven't given you nothing. You gave yourself that too. So 51 pace is the slowest I've found currently. Good. I'm not telling you who the slowest is because I don't want him in my team. Well, I'll just go on for a bit then. This is going to take too long. Oh, you absolute <laughs> rotter. Should I just save you the time and tell you it is? Yeah, because otherwise we're going to be here for ages. It's, uh, where is he? Tan Wan Song with 36 pace. There you go. <laughs> he is truly dreadful, for goodness sake. Right, okay. And you can have Gao Jing, mate. Enjoy him. He's not going to do any. He wanted that. He wanted a right back and right mid. And now you've got, like, the most attacking rubbish player in the entire game. Wow. All right, guys. We've got our teams. We've got our formations. And now we are going to dive into the game. So we will see you all there momentarily. All right. We're in the piggy bank. Best of luck, mate. Let's go. You got any, got any predictions for this game, Itani, other than you losing horrifically? I don't know. I've never tried this formation. I'm going to absolutely bang some. This is going to be mad. Watch out, mate. Definitely doesn't play this game. Never plays the game. You can tell. Watch out. Wow. See ya, see ya, see ya, Tani. See ya, Tani. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tani's like, what is going on? I haven't played this game a little while, have you? No, I haven't. What? <laughs> Your guys just held me. <laughs> oh my god, you're using Stoikov. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you absolute rat bag. Penalty! Oh, hey! <laughs> what? Oh, it's offside. He's offside as well. Oh, my. Mate, you should be embarrassed. You've missed. You've missed. Right. Wait, I thought that was the referee. I thought that was the ref. Oh, my God. You're actually having me on, aren't you? Itani rocks up using a 600 coin gold. I'm flipping, I'm flipping, what is it, February? Oh, Tamwan Song's not very quick, oh is he? Oh my! That's, that's what Big Pope lucky. is about, mate. That is, that is Big Pope right there, all over. 
Come on then. Come on, Cruyff. Oh, watch out. This card's actually sick, mate. I'm actually getting... F I'm tilted as hell. What is... Why can't I have my man? Oh, oh God, come on. Come on, Cruyff, Oh, bitch. my God. Ruben Diaz, you're so slow, bro. Oh, Let's my go. God. He's so slow. Where is that yeah. one song? I don't understand. I'm actually getting absolutely banged here. This is Penalty. what a tackle. What? what a tackle. Hello, boys. Okay. Well, the fact that we're losing at half time is a joke. I'm not going to lie. We'll start off with that. Adam Atriori needs to reassess his life. Ruben Diaz needs to add some extra pace because he's pathetic. On the left side, you're like <sighs> getting counted so easily. Yeah, and you're getting counted on the left side for yeah. your team as well. <laughs> which both Wait, like... is, your left, which ever... is your left the bronze? So you're running, you run down the left side and you'll be up against my bronze and I run down the left yeah. side and I'll be against your bronze. So whoever has the ball on the right side of the pitch is going to win. You're on the wrong side of the pitch, mate. You need to switch it. <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake. This is, this is, uh, this is uh, genuinely out of control. What oh is going on? My. <laughs> what is that clearance, mate? Oh, hello. Watch out, mate. Watch out. You've moved. Drop. <laughs> Drop. Oh. Future stars. He should be burying that every day of the week. Oh, this is just a joke, man. Please go away. Come on, Pope. You got this, mate. You absolute rat. <laughs> how can you be winning? Like, I don't under I genuinely don't understand how you're winning this game. What do you mean? God. Just just track him. Just track him. There you go. Now play him offside. What well, you got to watch story covers? Oh. oh, thank you. There we go. That's it. Nice. One more. Bronze is there. Good save. You better win this, Fekir. You... What is going on? <laughs> I'm actually getting absolutely pillaged. <laughs> Literally, my... You've come to my house and... Oh, my God. This is just a joke, isn't it? Block Can it. We... Let's go. Oh, my God. Yes. What? Big legs. What? Big legs! What? Got him! Got him! Yes! Oh, yes! We're back was, in! That was a nice goal. That was Four a nice minutes. goal. Like, don't let him through. Whatever you do. I genuinely think you're going to score again and again. No. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way! <laughs> Yo, your defense is absolutely trash. Five, six hundred K Laporte. I mean, why would it be any good whatsoever? <laughs> Oh, bringing down my average, mate. How on, did Corey. you even get through? Stop! <laughs> oh, he's in the You have been so lucky, I'm not going to lie. Why have you... Oh, Isaac, you're at it. On. Oh, we need that goal! Oh. There's no time. I think that's going to be it. What a joke. I'm still worried, mate. One-on-one -on -one only could be very painful in this team. Is that it? That's game. Oh. That's game. I've been defeated by a tiny, right? The worst thing is that Andy's going to immediately message me and be like, oh, you lost your tiny. <laughs> I mean, he can't say that. He's been losing. <laughs> yeah, he's trash, mate. He's the worst in the FIFA community right now. He's even worse than Jack. Well, we do have a Discord. <laughs> Who's your most expensive player? Freuth. Holy... So, yeah, probably best you don't hit him. <laughs> um, okay, let's shuffle this bad boy. And uh, let a tiny pick. All right. 4-3-3-4, four, three, three, four, correct? Yes, mate. Okay, now, there's this theme that's been going on in the FIFA community where me and the has just been picking midfielders. So, I'm going to go right center mid. Okay, right. On the surface, this looks really, really, really bad. And you're probably thinking, Tom, why are you not freaking out right now? Why are you not freaking what, out? What did I get? You may have hit the most expensive player the entire year. Cruyff. By a long margin, <laughs> yes, you've managed to hit Cruyff. Let's go. Put that in your stats. 
I will put it in the stats, yeah. I have been putting players, so like if it is an icon discard, even if it came out of a base mid icon pack, we've been putting the price of the player in. And now people are probably thinking, Tom, why are you not losing your mind right now? You've got middle Cruyff there. Well, if you've been to my live streams, you'll know that last night, I actually had the sickest bit of luck. It was like, at the time, I was just genuinely like, this is the worst thing that could have possibly happened. Check, check this. Base or mid icon pack, be a good nation. Come on, please. That could be good. Center mid, center forward. This, oh, don't be Cruyff. Oh no, who's it gonna be? I've already got him. That's a sick pack, but I've already got him. That is a sick pack, but I've already got him. Oh, only Tom. Only Tom can get a flipping dupe untradeable Cruyff. Are you actually having me on? What is that? Oh, there's so many good players that I could have had instead. Oh. <laughs> So yeah, it's not all bad because uh, I managed to pack a duplicate Cruyff last night. Hence why I haven't actually used him at all. Like I've not used Cruyff at all this year in any of my teams because I've been too afraid to use him and lose him because I actually use him in my main team and he's 4,060,000. But last night I managed to pack him again and he's untradeable. So this one can go. That's good, isn't it? That doesn't even Very feel decent. good, mate. That doesn't even feel good now. I've taken all of that away. <laughs> it's mental. I genuinely can't believe that I was like, oh, I'll put Cruyff in because it doesn't matter if I lose him. I can just ungulag him and stuff, blah, blah, blah. And now look at me. Now I'm like, actually like, oh, Pat, that last night, <laughs> Cruyff is perfect. Like, I'm genuinely very happy that I got okay, Cruyff so last I'm night. I'm expecting you not to use Cruyff in the next video then. <laughs> Why? Why? I've got another one. I'll use my other one. You know what? I'm actually going to go and I'm going to keep my no, one, which is this one. to use him because of him getting oh yeah no i won't be using him anymore that was like the one of one only mate i won't be using him anymore is my Cruyff there yeah there is my Cruyff. right i've been buying up some as you can see buying some west brom players as well so i will grab my Cruyff. as you can see duplicate there's the original one and the other one's also untradeable and i'll go and put him into an sbc right okay well um i i mean i, I it's the weirdest thing weirdest thing um we'll just submit it there goes middle Cruyff, which is disgusting. I keep on saying, I keep on packing stuff. It happened like three times during team of the year as well. I packed KDB twice on tradable do and Trent. And I just kept on saying, why don't, I know this is like so, so counter, counter, contradictory. Is that how you say the word? Contradict, contradictory. So contradictory to say, why don't you make trade offers for untradable players? Because they have no value. Because then like, if for example, you got, like an untradeable team of the AKDB or an untradeable team, uh, middle Cruyff, something like that out of your icon pack. You don't just get the value of them from the SBC. What you actually get is you get to say, oh, I'll swap, swap it for like your middle Ronaldo or something to one of your mates who's got a dupe of one of them. Not that anyone would ever have a middle Ronaldo dupe, but weirder things have happened. Um, I think that would just be such a cool thing to do. Just make untradeable cards, no coins, no tradable cards, just untradable cards, one for one. You send them across and you get something back and they have to be roughly the same rating so that there's no like cheating. If you think that's a good idea, let me know down in the comments section, guys. But there you go. Overpaying for Cruyff or for this section, the SBC, probably the section I think is probably worth about 100k. Um, so yeah, this is 4, four million. 4 million for, for this icon pack, fingers crossed. It's going to be good. But anyway, uh, Itani, thank you for coming on um, and proving that you're not an easy opponent. You've actually just sent me, well, to the gulag. I, won't I lie. think your right back killed you because I could just... He did, mate. That. Mate, that Costage, that was the perfect player yeah. for you to have there. <laughs> like, genuinely, he absolutely battered me. It was horrific. I've used him again um, in the Andy's pack and play episode and he was crazy. He's so quick, yeah. mate. Tan Wan Song couldn't even see him. Like, as soon as, like, he was, like, 20 meters ahead before they'd even started running. Absolutely disastrous. But anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed it. The biggest, uh, well, do I feel right in saying this is the best, biggest discard of the series? I guess so. I guess it is, because it technically has the most value, but also it's untradeable. But at the same time, there's also no way to actually put into the database the player was untradeable. So I've just been kind of going with the value of the player. So... I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Of course, let go and check out uh, Tani's video and check out the uh, the database of all the team takedown results. Uh, I'll try and keep them updated. Pretty much as soon as a, a video comes out, I'll try and get the uh, stats for it added. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you're new and peace.